All right, welcome back. We have a few sales. Um, I actually forgot to check how many we had and how much they sold for. Um, so that's my bad. Bad opening. We have seven and they sold for 115. Woo, seven for 115. And it's actually like 110 because I know I have to refund some combined shipping already of about five and a half dollars. So we're still over 100. Yay. All right, what do we got? We have these Skylanders that we picked out ahead of time because oh, yeah. they're just in the drawers. Yeah, they were pretty easy to find, but you never know, so save some time and loud digging through. Uh, this one I think is called Brawler, maybe. This guy with the hammer called the Skylander. Um, no, Skylander giant figure. <laughs> Oh yeah, down there. Crusher. Oh, I see. This one's Crusher, and this one's Ninjini. Uh, anyway, what they sell for? They sold for seven dollars and sixty-five cents. Seven sixty-five plus some kind of shipping. It's a twelve and a half all in. So, I don't know. I have some kind of combined shipping on those guys from like a year and a half ago when I listed them two years ago. All right, what's next there? Uh, we have a CD, and it's eleven eighty-two. Okay, and those uh, Skylanders will be getting delisted <coughs> after we're done with inventory and do the other things that we've already delisted. They'll come down and go on a lot to get rid of the rest. We've had them for long enough. Eleven sixty-two. What? Is that what you said? Eleven eighty-two. Oh. so hard to see in his corner that's the only downside to these shelves being the way they are but it's not really that many so few and far between i guess roy rogers tribute got Lori morgan restless heart oak ridge boys what'd that sell for sold for five dollars all right b25 b25 <sighs> oh yeah, I'll move down there now, huh? Because you took one out. Yeah. Just easier to get out. Mm -hmm. So I think I double checked last time. And this is the one... I don't remember what I said last time we sold one. But this should be the one. Part of it helps pay back our initial investment. And then the majority of the sale on this one is pure profit. And then the next... How many sets do we have? How many pairs do we have left? 23. So we have 23 more sets of these to sell, and they're all going to be pure profit now. It did take, you know, eight months to sell them. But we were competing with somebody else who had a lot of sales already. So I don't know if they finally sold out of theirs, or we're running more sales on stuff. And ours just ends up being a couple bucks cheaper. And I already put it like $1 cheaper than theirs, I think. So, so that's all anyway. for... $24. Yeah, 24 bucks. Uh, free shipping, I think I have on those. So. Um, they paid 25 altogether, so yeah. Yeah. We paid $120 for all of them, and now we're paid back making profit, so. Uh, $641. 641 It's been a long day. We did some garage sailing today and we've been transferring our fish to a new pond but now half the fish are in the old pond and half the fish are in the new pond so it's a mess yeah it's really hard to see fish in a pond when the sun is shining and there's reflections of stuff a majority of the fish are brown yeah they blend right in we'll see if they make it <laughs> uh randy newman live Sold for $13. Okay, 13 bucks for that one. That's not a bad CD. Um, B18. I didn't have any like home runs today, but that's okay because we just sold enough uh, average price stuff. I suppose those uh, Ford envelopes were 25 bucks. So. Um, I don't know which ones it is. Is it one of each? It's an extra large 10, 12. 
Navy, Navy. They're both Navy? So, yep, yeah, I guess so. Cool. Navy blue, Navy blue, Mary Jane. Yeah, I think that's all we have left. Oh. Now we only have one of each left. One, oh, one blue and one black. Yeah. Huh. We're almost out. I mean, it did help that you took a few pairs, but to help yeah. us get it emptied out. Uh, yeah, so these new foot slippers, um, we had a lot of these uh, last year. We picked them up sometime early in the year, and we've just been selling them slowly but surely, but we only paid like a quarter a piece for them, yeah. and we started mm -hmm. selling them for like 15 or 12, maybe 12 plus shipping. And now I've just been accepting offers for like 10 plus shipping on them. So we that's what these sold for. Um, $20 plus combined shipping. So it's about 25 bucks for these two. We got them at a state sale. It was kind of a weird estate sale. Uh, like they had just tons of like duplicates of stuff and new stuff. So we got like all our hallmarks from there. And we got the slippers. The slippers were like a t bin like this full of them. Mm -hmm. It was maybe... Mostly a little full. more than half full or so, yeah. yeah. But they're small, so you fit. I don't know how many we had to start with. A lot, though. Yeah. I remember that um, estate sale I, like, was allergic to. Because they have an allergy is really bad. That was a really good one, though, because we got all yeah. these Hallmark ornaments, too. And we had some of them. Some of those Hallmark ornaments were, like, 50 bucks a piece. Yeah, so. we looked out on that one. And we also got the Gold Rush or whatever the candles are. Those yeah, beeswax candles. There, yeah. yeah, we did. Gold Rush. Um, we have one more sale. S25K. It's the 25K. shoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this was a high dollar sale here. S25K. There was no no sarcasm in that statement. Where's S25? The bottom one? Oh, yeah, there they are. Okay. Oh, they're smaller than I thought. Let's see what they go. At least they'll fit in a flat rate bubble if we need to. And they hold for six dollars plus shipping. So that's these like super colorful Fila tennis shoes. The soles are like super nice looking. I mean, they've been used. There's a little bit of dirt that I couldn't get out of a couple of cracks, but they have like a gel uh, insert or like. Oh, yeah. like a memory cool. foam type memory thing or something. Gel. Yeah, but they uh, well they sent an offer for five dollars and I was like, well, let's see if I can squeeze out an extra buck. So I sent a counter offer for six. They were already on sale for like seven and a half. So now they're gone, yeah, and that's one go. less shoe we have to put into the bins later. Yep, they're really nice. Yeah, because we're gonna get rid of that. I liked that shoe system over there because it was really nice and easy to find them, and they weren't getting like scuffed on each other or anything but yeah but then we just somehow got too many shoes yeah. now we have this bin Three is bins. almost full this bin's full and this bin is half full so we got two and a half bins of shoes right now and we weren't gonna stay in doing a whole lot of shoes yeah i'm not a sh not a big fan of doing the shoes they take so. too much cleaning and then you buy a pair and you think it looks all nice and then you get it home and you look at it and there's like cat hair embedded in the insole and then it's like totally a lot useless of our shoes we were getting at like goodwill and stuff too so they have a high buy cost and stuff so yeah but they can be valuable too so yeah. i mean if you're paying 10 bucks for a pair of shoes but you get I mean, good if you're good if you're good at getting them you know you can have an average sale price of 40 50 dollars but we won't not at look at shoes but we're just not going to like get them like we were getting them yeah and I'm only gonna buy them if they're like clean and almost ready to go. But yeah, uh, that's what we got for today. So a few, only a few sales, but we did pass the hundred dollars. Yep. Be interesting to see what we're at towards the end of the week. The week I was keeping track of is uh Tuesday through Monday, just because that's how the payouts work, and that's what I looked at when I was setting the goal. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. Well, and we did, uh, yeah, we're also, it's been a long day because we went garage selling this morning in a community sale. And we, uh, I did some recording, so <laughs> I'm going to attempt to edit it and see how it goes. And I'm thinking maybe Sundays 
we'll release uh, like a picking video and then just keep doing our regular what solds here. So we may not do a haul video because it may just be the picking video. Or if the picking video doesn't work out, then maybe we can do some haul. Yeah, you know, we'll I could see. get to editing it and just ruin everything and it just doesn't uh, <laughs> turn out good. Or there just wasn't good footage. Yeah, that's Because the first right. half of it, I had the camera one way and then the second half, I was like, yeah, let's see if I can switch it around a different way. And then I think that worked better. So luckily we didn't really buy much the first half. So we're still awkward about filming in public. So nobody got... said anything, though, but I do it on a backpack strap. So if it's like a close quarters kind of thing, my backpack kind of um, scrapes against people or it's harder to squeeze past people and stuff. But. Anyway, I guess we'll, I'll just be that weird guy at the sales with the camera. So, all right. We will see you, I guess, Monday now. It'll be Monday next for the weekend sales. So, all right. We'll see you then. Thanks.